time. We wish we all had more of it. We all want to have some kind of hack or cheat code to never run out of it. It seems like every time you think you have a few weeks left on your project, you check the date and find your deadline is approaching quickly. Well, what can we do? I'm not going to lie and say Reaper can give you back some missed days. It's not a time machine. But I can show you how to save some time on your project right from the get-go by already having your tracks, display, and a few plugins armed and ready to go so you can hit the ground running. How? By setting up an audiobook template that will get you most of the way there, right out of the gate. It only takes a few minutes to set up, but will save you time down the road when working on projects. Come on, let's check it out. One of the best ways to get your project started quickly is to set up and use a template for your audiobooks. Here's what my Reaper looks like for an empty session. I know one of the best features of Reaper is how customizable you can make your theme, but no matter what, I always stick with default 5. It just looks good to me. But if you want to change how Reaper looks for you, simply go to Options, and you can change your themes or layout. Now, since Reaper is by default set up for musicians, you'll see that we have this large grid on our project. Coming from a background in music, I keep the grid on, but if you'd like to turn it off, just click here. If you would like a pre-roll before you record, right-click on the metronome, go down to pre-roll before recording, click it off, and then select how many measures you'd like. I usually do two. Now, to really get started, let's take a look at all this real estate we have. I know everyone has their own way of doing things, but I personally like to set up my audiobooks with two tracks. One is for room tone, one is to record my narration. So let's set up a room tone track first. You can create a track in a bunch of ways. You can go to the track menu, and select Insert New Track. Or you can do a shortcut, Control T. Or you can double click in the empty area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Room Tone folder, which I suggest you all have. Record a bunch of samples of Room Tone. Just keep it in a folder for easy access. Click on my room tone that I want. Just drag it in. Now I have my room tone. Let's just name that. Okay, now let's create a second track underneath. This will be for our audiobook. I'll call mine audiobook. Clever, right? Now, this next part is optional, but is also pretty cool. Let's say you have some plugins you know you're going to use. Maybe you have some presets you always use on your narration, a high pass filter or a compressor, for example. Well, let's add them to our audiobook track. Let's see here. Let's go to something everyone has. Let's do re EQ. Turn it into a high pass. I'm just making up settings right now. Don't worry about it. Let's do recomp. So let's say you always use those effects on your track. What you can do is if you right click, go to save track as track template. And now you can call that track I don't know, audiobook. See, I've already done that, audiobook. Okay, so now if we delete this track, if we right click, go insert track from track template, there's audiobook. And there's your track with your effects on there. I love Reaper. Okay, so we've got our rook track. We've got our audiobook track. Well, what else do we need? 
Well, when we record, we like to see our overall output, so we know if we're recording at the right levels, or to check to make sure we're not clipping the main bus or master fader on the way out. To see the master track, you can go to View, Master Track, or do Control Alt M, and then you'll see the master track up here. But to be honest, I don't like it up there. I like to view it in the mixer. So let's undo that. To see the mixer, you'll have to go view, mixer, or you can do the shortcut control M. Okay, so here's the mixer. And you'll see our track for room tone and our track for the audiobook. And over here on the left hand corner is our master fader. But we see a problem. It's really squished. Everything's condensed down here in the corner and it's really hard to see all your numbers to make sure what you're actually recording at. You think, oh, well, I'll just expand it. So you pull it all up. But now it's, oh, my tracks up here are disappearing. There's all this extra space. I don't know what to do. Well, here's what we can do. Go to the master track, right click, go to master track, show in separate window. Now we can move the master track around. Let's get rid of the mixer. Can move the master track anywhere around. Let's say we put it here. You can expand it. And if you click on this and you drag this up, and now we have a decent sized master. If you click this pin button, it'll pin it in place and lock it. Now we've got our master over here. We've got our tracks with effects. We have our grid or not if you don't want it. Now we need to save this as a template. So go to File, Project Templates, Save Project as Template. Call it Audiobook. If you want Reaper to load your template whenever you open Reaper, we'll go to Options, Preferences, Project, click Browse, Click on audiobook, open, click apply. And now the great part is whenever you open up Reaper, your template will already be there and you'll be ready to record. And that just about covers it. You've set up a pretty good template. And the best part is if you don't feel like it works for you, you can customize it. It's one of the best parts about Reaper. Do me a favor, try it out. If it works for you, that's great. Until next time.